Hello everybody. Are you ready for some history? Let me teach you about a man who is a mystery. Edward Muggeridge is his name. And photography was the reason for his fame. In 1830, on the 9th of April, a long time ago, when they wrote with a quill. Edward was born into a family of wealth. And in 1851, when he was young with good health, New York was the place he decided to immigrate, where he worked as a bookseller, selling books at a good rate. In 1855, he moved to San Francisco. It was here he decided that his name had to go. First he changed it to Mugridge, but this name was still poor, so he decided on Mybridge. He liked that much more. This was the Anglo-Saxon form of his name, so Edward Mybridge was the man he became. He had a stagecoach accident in 1860, which sadly caused him to have a head injury. He was in a coma for four days and his hair turned grey. Then he recovered in England and began what he's known for today. In 1867 he returned to San Francisco where he worked as a photographer taking photos wherever he'd go. He went off travelling and spent months in Yosemite where he took photos every day, constantly. Since this was the Victorian era, inventions were at their peak. So Mybridge thought he would create something, hmm, unique. In 1869, he invented the sky shade, which for many photographers is a very useful aid. In 1871, he met Flora Shellcross Stone, a 21-year-old woman who had a husband of her own. But a year later, in 1872, she divorced her husband and married husband number two. In the same year, at a racetrack in Sacramento for Leland Stanford, Edward took an instantaneous photo. In 1874, Flora gave birth to a boy, which filled the household with lots of joy. But Edward became suspicious of something in his life, and sadly he discovered some secrets from his wife. She was unfaithful to him and had an affair with a man called Harry Larkin. Now this was a nightmare, full of anger and hurt. Edward fled to Larkin's house, where he shot him dead. Mybridge was acquitted of murder in 1875, but in the same year he found out the Flora was no longer alive. He wasn't put into prison, because the judge said that if he was in the same situation, he too would have shot him dead. So Edward carried on working with Stanford at the race course and managed to take a series of photos of the horse. Now these photos are extremely renowned for proving that horses run with all feet off the ground. Mybridge's work is known by every woman and man, because he is the reason that the moving image began. He made the zoo praxis scope in 1880, which was another step closer to cinematography. In 1897, he travelled to England again. This was now the place that he would remain. In 1899, Edward published a book called Animals in Motion, where you can see all the photos he took 
Mybridge died in 1904. But the work he created will be remembered forevermore. <laughs>